Well, I'm not making the decision for you, Orange Head. I'm leaving in in your own hands. Do you really want to see my full power, or do you want to take the normal route? Um, well... Up to you, Orange Head. No pressure. Sis, you really should think this through before we continue. I'll think it over during this next song, sis. Let's start. Alright, the choice is yours. Sis, seriously? You really want to see Susie go all out? You made some really stupid choices in the past, but this might take the, take the cake. Sis, I think I can handle it. What's the worst Susie could do to me? She's our friend, right? Well, don't be surprised when she sends you to the hospital. Orange Ed, I thought we were friends. Well, we are. But despite the warning I gave you before headed, you still want to see me at my full power? Give me all you got, Susie. I have to agree with your sister on this one. Attacking me is worth me if it's the worst idea someone could possibly make. But despite that, you ignored me. Sis, Susie warned us about what she what she would do to what she would do if she went full power. I can take her. What's the worst she could do? Kill you. That's what that's one. That's what one general mechanic was enough for me, but now there's two of them. I'm not a general mechanic, I just wanted to see how powerful we truly are. That ending part of the last song was your last chance to back off, but you ignored it. Well sis, whatever happens to you, it's, it isn't my fault. Do you want me to die? No. Orange Ed, I just wanted to say sorry. How strong is this stupid wall? Sunflower, it's best if you just leave. I'm about to get serious and possibly kill my old friends. I couldn't care less. Now let now let me do this walk. Not gonna happen as long as I live. You won't for much longer. What happened to your eyes? <coughs> Sis, why? Oh no, I think she's been possessed by Sunflower. 
I don't think she can control herself anymore. Uh, can't you do something to save her? Yes, but in order to do that, I'm gonna have to hurt your sister. Listen, Sunflower, if you're just gonna let Orange Head go, we can work this out. Uh, I really don't want my sister to get hurt. <sighs> Well, sorry old lady. This is why I never make promise. Who are you calling an old lady? Why did why didn't it just get darker in here? Green haired. I'm sorry for what I'm about, about to do. Where did your eyes go? It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. On days like these, plants like you should be suffering in this distant world. Uh bring it on.
Don't worry, green haired. I'll find a way to kill that man. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Thanks, Susie. And what about my sister? She'll be fine. I'm not too sure about something. I really hope she lets my sister go. It's fine. I don't need her body to finish the job. Susie, look at how. There you two are. I've been looking for for hours. What happened here? It's a very long story, Lilligant. I had a copy of Pokemon Scarlet waiting for you two, but but you never came to my house. That's great, but can you get my sister over there? Is she okay? Sure. Orange Head, wake up. <sighs> Lilligant? What are you doing here? It took me several hours to find you when you never came to my house. Well, can you get us out of here? Sure. Steeny must be worried to death of right now. Oh right, I forgot about Steeny. Also, here's the um, here's the copy of Pokemon Scarlet that I was mean to give you. Thanks, little git. But what about Susie? I think she's a lost cause. I don't think we can get her back. <laughs> okay, there you go, Meloetis. You're back home now. <sighs> Thanks, Lilligant. No problem. <laughs> oh, there you girls are. Let me guess. Steamy's crying because we've been gone for uh, for way too long. What? Well, how'd you know? <sighs> just show her. Just show us where she is. She's in her room. Her big sister's up there too. <sighs> Calm down, little sis. There's no need to be so upset over this. The Meloetis will be fine. I'm sure of it. But. <laughs> What if they're dead? They are not dead. We would have heard about it if they were. Oh wait, there they are. <sighs> uh, Steamy, we're okay. My sister's overprotective mother. We can tell. It's just... It's just that I love you all so much, I can't bear to see something happen to you. Steamy, we can handle ourselves pretty well if we are in danger. Wait, what happened to your chest? Long story involving Susie and a genital sunflower. Are you sure you're okay? Yes. Ugh. We'll need to find something to patch up that scar on her ugly hair's chest. Lilligant found us and got us and got us off the underground in one piece. She also gave us this copy of Pokemon Scarlet. That's great. You two should go downstairs and start playing. What about Steeny? She'll be fine now. I just wish she wasn't so overprotective of you girls. Sis, which starter are we gonna pick? Obviously the best choice is Sprigatito. Nuh-uh, Quaxi's a better opinion. Well, you're an idiot. Sis, are we really just gonna argue over this until we came up with an agreement? Yes. Yes, we are. Sis, are you still okay after the events that happened in the underground? Mostly. I didn't expect something to possess my body like that. I can't believe Susie's dead is dead now. Well, at least Susie's at least Sunflower's is dead. At the cost of losing Susie. I hope she maybe comes back to life and we'll see her again. I do too. Oh, and by the way, viewers. This ending is not canon. Susie is not actually dead. She'll be back again. Okay, bye. Subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know it was an upload. Okay, bye bye.